Hello, math makers. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, you are making math easier just by showing up. Today, we are going to look again at subtracting using models. This is lesson two. Now, I do want to say, if you haven't done lesson one yet, please take a look at that first. Um, you need to be able to do lesson one before you can do lesson two. They build on each other. So if you haven't done that, please do that. Otherwise, come join us. Um, today, what we're going to look at is using models to subtract. Now, before we get started, I do want to make sure I review some terms that we're going to use today. Um, of course, these are the ones we've been going over for a few weeks now. Um, we have menu end, which is the bigger number, the larger number in a subtraction question. Uh, we have the subterhand, which is the smaller number in a subtraction question. That's the number you're subtracting from the menu end. It's what you're taking away. And last, we have difference. And difference is the answer to a subtraction question. If you look at these two numbers, this is the difference between them. That's why it's the answer. Um, next, we have the word regroup. And when you regroup, and you've probably heard your teacher say this, it's when you name a number or part of a number in a new way. You can see I did it here with 23. I have tw two tens, that's 20. Three ones, that's three, so that's 23. But I can take one of those tens and move it over here, and I still have 23. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I just did it in a new way. And that will help me add or subtract sometimes, depending on which way I'm moving it. So, with all that being said, I think you're ready. Let's go ahead and get started. My goal is to do about four questions with you and then practice um, breaking some numbers apart. Um, so let's get started. 47 minus 15. That's going to be our first question today. Now, when you're doing a question with models, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, do I need to regroup? How do I know? I have to look at the ones place. So when I look at the ones place in the menu end, the bigger number, I see a seven. And then if I look, compare it to the ones place of the subterhand, I know that seven is larger than five. And if that number is bigger, then no, you don't have to regroup, which makes the question a little bit easier, honestly. So what you would do is you would start with your question, 47 minus 15, and you would start taking those away. So you would take away, I see 110, so I would take away my 110. I'm going to get rid of it, and it's gone now. And then I'm going to get rid of five ones. So I'm going to take away five ones, I'm going to mark them out. One, count with me, two, three, four, Five. Now at this point in time, I can I can check my, my base 10 blocks and see what I have left. So these are tens, so let's count by tens. Count with me. 10, 20, 30, and these are ones, so we'll just count by ones here. We already have 30, 31, 32. So the answer is going to be 32. Um, how is that? I tried to make an easier one first, but now let's keep on moving. Our next question is going to be 62 minus 26. Again, do I need to regroup? What do I look at first? Do you remember? The ones place. We always look at the ones place first. In this, we see a ones place in the menu end is a 2, and we compare it to the ones place in the subterhand. That's a 6. Now, 2. That's not as big as six. That's smaller. So if it's smaller, then yes, I have to regroup. And in case you're curious, take up two fingers, take away six of them. You can't do it. So you have to regroup. So we have our question and we're going to build 62. So we already have 62 built. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. And what we're going to do is we're going to regroup. And when I regroup, I still have my 6, but I'm going to take 10, and I'm going to move them over here to this side. So I'm taking away this one, and I'm moving it over here. 
and I can't move it over as a bar, it's got to be singles. So I'm taking one bar of 10, and I'm moving 10 singles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Once I've done that, I can subtract. Now I'm taking away 26. 6 1s, 2 10s. So I'm going to take away my 2 10s. Let's take away my 1s first. Count with me. 1. We're taking away 6. 2. Because there's a 6 in the subtrahend's 1s place. 3. 4. 5. 6. So I took away 6. That's my 6 1s right there. Now I'm going to take away 2 10s. So I'm going to take away 2 10s. 1. Took that one away. 2. I took that one away. Now we're going to count and see what I have left. Now we don't count the one in here because it's not there anymore. So let's count 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So our answer should be 36. Now again, for those of you who see that one in there and are wondering why we didn't count it, it's because it's not there anymore. We moved it. We moved it over here. So when I regroup, that one disappears like magic, and it's gone, and it's over here now. So, and that's why we did not count that one when we were counting our answer. So let's practice another one. 58 minus 33. Again, the question, do I need to regroup? What do I look at first? Do you remember? The ones place. I'm sure you said that. So we look at the ones place in the menu end, the larger number, and we see an 8 there. And then we compare it to the ones place in the subtrahend. And I, it's a smaller number, and I see a 3 there. Is 8 larger than 3? It is. So if it is, then I don't have to regroup, which again is great because it makes the question a little bit easier. So I've got my 58, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. And I'm going to take away 33. Three tens, three ones. So I'm going to take away my three ones. Count with me. One. Two, three, and I'm going to take away my three tens. One, two, and three. So I took away 33, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. They're gone. Now I'm going to count and see what I have left. Count with me. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So our answer is going to be 25. Are you getting the hang of it? I hope so. Let's do one more and let's see how you do. 45 minus 27. Again, what's the question I asked first? That's right. Do I need to regroup? And where do I find out that answer? The ones place. Very good. So we're going to compare the ones place in the larger number in the menu end. We're going to compare it to the ones place in the subtrend. In this one, we have a 5 in the larger number, the menu end, and we have a 7 in the ones place of the subtrend, the smaller number. 5 is not as big as 27, so do I have to regroup? Yes, I do have to regroup. So we're going to build our 45. Again, do I have 45 here? Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. And then I'm going to regroup. So I'm going to take 10 from my 40s, and I'm going to move it over here to the 1s. So my 10 here is gone, and I have 10 1s over here. Now I can subtract. Now, how many 1s do I take away? 7. So count with me. Let's take away 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7. So I took away my 7 1s here. Now I'm going to take away how many 10s? 2. There's a 2 in the 10s place. So I'm going to take away two 10s. There's one 10. I took it away. Here's another 10. I took it away. So those are gone. Now, let's count and see what I have left. Count again by 10s. 10. Let's go to the 1s. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So our answer is going to be 18. Again, for those of you that are curious, why didn't I count that one? Well, when I regroup, it disappears. It goes away. So it's not there anymore because I moved it over here. So that's why I had 18. I had 10, and then I had the 8 over here. Now, is it getting a little bit easier? I hope so. One thing I want to practice at the end, I said I was going to practice this, is breaking numbers apart. Because we have to be able to build these models correctly, or it's going to mess us up when we're trying to use them when we add or subtract. So I want to take a just, maybe we might practice this one or two, and I want to practice building. Let's make sure we know how to do this. The first thing we do is we look at the number. We have 54. There's five tens, right, because I have a five in the tens place. And there's four ones, because there's a four in the ones place. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to move five tens over. Count with me, 10, because I want to get to 50. 20, 30, 40, 50. And then how many ones do I move over? Four. That's right, because there's four in the ones place. One, two, three, four. And that makes 54. All right, see I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Now I wanted to practice a little bit more of those, but I am out of time. And so I just want to thank you again for showing up. Thank you for coming and making math easier for yourself and so that you can do a little bit better in math. I hope you're understanding more. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.